<laughs> we got a quarter century rare. Forty-two dollars and two cents. Wow, that is amazing. What's up, guys? And welcome to their epic versus. In this episode, we have the rarity collection versus the one that we had to do. We had to do, and that of course is rarity collection numero dos, or sorry, numero uno. Okay, I don't know my Spanish apparently. Numero uno, and of course, rarity collection numero dos. Oh yes, who is the better rarity collection? Looking at the prices, some may say rarity collection one, but. You never know. Now this of course came out a couple of weeks ago, so it could still be quite valuable. And this one came out, I think back in November of last year. So we definitely, definitely want to see which is the better. Place your votes right now. Who's the better rare collection? And if you have a suggestion of a, of a versus in regards to rare collection, maybe involving Pokemon, let me know in the comments as well down below. Without further ado, you guys know the drill. Press the like. For luck. Now, before we get started, of course, let's roll into Rarity Collection numero uno here. Let's see what are some high value pulls from this set. Now, of course, the strong one, the big strong one is, of course, that Ash Blossom still holding strong. I actually think it went up in price because last time I remember it's like less than 200. Now it's at $207.97. The second highest is that uh, Imperiment. Im Impermanence? Impermanence? Yeah, infinite, infinite impermanence. <laughs> Whatever that word is. At $81 strong. Number three is the Triple Tactics. I think the same three from last time. Triple T holding number three spot at $69.59. So yes, those are still holding strong for Rare Collection 1. Now Rare Collection 2 is still kind of like sh shuffling around because last time it was a different number one spot. But currently right now, number one is the I IP Mascarina at $67.95. So not even breaking $100, so not even breaking $200. So just from that standpoint alone, it kind of shows that Red Collection 2 is not that strong in terms of prices or demand. Number two is that Apollo Ulyssa, Apollo -sa? Yeah, whatever. Bow of the Goddess, which was previously number one. Now it's at number two, but it's really, really close to the IP at $67.54. The third highest, which is a new third highest from the previous unboxing, which did, check out that video right there. That was, of course, Droll and Lock. This one is at $52.60. So that is, of course, the top three. Now, as we roll into this verse here, obviously these are on, on both of these are on box. And um, yeah, we'll see which one, of course, is uh, the better, better room. Can I see my reflection in my face? My face! <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and I'll open this real quick. I still have yet to pull the um, Ash Blossom. Still no Ash Blossom, which I'm very, very disappointed about. I'm hoping I can get an Ash Blossom today, but if I do, that's going to be an instant victory because that is the only six-pointer, really, in this, uh, in this, in this thing right here. And uh, speaking of points, let's talk about this real quick. If it breaks the $1 mark, that is going to be one point. If it breaks the $5 mark, that is two points. If it breaks the $10 mark, that is three points. If it breaks the $20 mark, that is four points. $50 is five points. And of course, the coveted six pointer, as I mentioned, will be six points if it breaks $100. Um, but yes, as we open the Ash Plus, I'm actually, I'm actually doing a dual camera setup because I had a, had a comment that was saying, hey, you know, sh you know, sh me showing the cards like this, it, it's, it's causing a, a, a little bit of like a nausea. I, 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 like, a, it, like it was like, I don't know, it was, it, it was giving a headache. Um, I was trying to be a little different from typical unboxers or unpackers or Yugi tubers or Pokey tubers or unboxy tubers. I don't know. But uh, I just want to be a little different, but I'm just going to go with the dual camera setup. And um, if you guys like that, obviously let me know in the comments, but like, um, I have, you know, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. Let's open this bad boy, bad boy. Now, obviously this is 24 packs and, and this is one of course is the 18 packs, but with the verses, I'm only going to do eight packs to eight packs. Uh, normally I will do 10, but uh, I kind of want to save the 10 per 10 in a future uh, versus, maybe a rematch versus. So let me go ahead and shuffle this real quick so I get a, uh, a randomized eight. I'll try to shuffle as best I can. 
probably not the greatest shuffle. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to maintain this kind of box-like style. Um, I, it kind of, I kind of grown into it. I kind of like the idea of it being like, you know, packed in instead of all that empty space. As you saw, there's a lot of empty space in the full regular booster box. And it also, I guess for like storage purposes, is it, you know, it makes it like uh, easier to store. Um, but I don't know. I kind of like the idea of like the old booster styles. I guess it's called nostalgia, I guess. It's called nostalgia. Now, I think from my, my understanding, there's the potential of getting three quarter century rares with Rarity Collection 1. And I think four to five uh, quarter century rares from Rarity Collection 2. So that alone gives a, a pretty distinct advantage for Rarity Collection 2. So we'll see. So we got our eight to eight right now. Press a like. Good luck. All right, let's do this. All right, we're going to start with the OG, Rare Collection 1 right here. All right. I normally open it without this camera right here blocking my way. All right, here we go. I think, uh, I don't think there's a card trick per se, but we're just going to go right into it. We're going to roll into it. Um, so we have the Black Wing um, Samuth of the Poison Wind. And we have a, what is it called? A secret rare of the Spellbook of the Judgment. We have the Cyber Angel Benton, ultra rare only. The Vision Hero Ferris, ultra rare. And an evenly match. Uh, and it's only gonna be a super rare, but I believe, I believe this one actually still might be worth some points compared to some of the other rarities, uh, compared to this one, I would imagine. Yeah, none of these are actually really, really good. So I'm gonna go with the Evilly Match for this one. All right, Evilly Match, super rare. Ooh, 85 cents. So that is uh, no points for Evilly Match. Wow, okay. Was there anything, any points worthy at all in that set? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of those. Yeah, none of those are really, really great. All right, going to Rarity Collection 2. All right, guys, we got more sleeves, more sleeves. Guys, you know what that means? We're down to our sponsor for today's video. Yes, Dragon Shield is back with some more sleeves. Now, I normally use these sleeves. So even though it says Japanese style, you could actually have this in both Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards. So keep that in mind. And of course, with an epic versus like this, using the rarity collection, you've got to protect your cards, whether you put aside the binders, whether you're using a duel or a match, whatever the case is. With that feeling down below, definitely check it out, support the show, protect your sleeves, protect your collection, protect your investment. How about that? But nevertheless, enough rambling. You guys are more excited, of course, for the rarity collection versus. So I'll start rambling and off to that versus. Enjoy. Peace. Now I have a feeling, I have a feeling Rare Collection 2 actually might win only because of the time associated with it. That's why I kind of set aside extra packs for a future uh, one pack pull. So we can do like maybe a, a rematch of sorts. Cause I think there's, um, cause uh, with the Rare Collection 1, it's five cards versus Rare Collection 2 at nine cards. Um, maybe I said packs, but I, I meant cards. Five cards to nine cards. And you know, obviously I'm not gonna add any uh, disadvantage or handicap, whatever. So we're just gonna go with apples to apples and just go straight on and see which one and maybe do like a rematch in the future potentially but uh yeah we'll see all right first card here is the super nip nip <laughs> super nibble uh mega uh, hamster which i think is the first time i i pulled this one we have the droll and lockbird super rare the polymerization ultra rare the uh looks like a Ultra rare only of the uh, Abomination Prison. I already see a quarter century rare, I think, in here. Oh, uh, we have the Ghost Moaner. Uh, this is the ultimate rare. Very, very nice. So now that I have a, a dedicated camera, you can kind of see that, yes, indeed, it is much nicer in person. It's a little dot there. I thought that was a little like, I don't know, it's kind of weird there. I don't know why. But yeah, ultra, uh, ultimate rare. And then we have the Illusion of Chaos, ultra rare only. And, ooh, okay, so it's not a quarter century rare, but that's, that's why it looks, it looks similar. But this is actually the secret rare, the uh, platinum secret rare, or prismatic secret rare, one of, those, one of those weird names. But yeah, Guardian Leviosa. I mean, uh, Guardian, <laughs> Guardian uh, Chimera. 
so that might be worth something. We have the Peaceful Planet uh, Calarium. And we have another one, but this is the, I guess the super rare version instead of the old secret rare. So these are two that's potential. Um, I am going to guess probably, oh, it's kind of hard. Like, even though I like ultimate rares, I notice that sometimes the ultimate rares are not that super high value, which is unfortunate. Platinum secret rare, ooh, this is $5.36. That, my friends, is two points. All right. Out of curiosity, how much is this ghost? Six dollars. So yeah, regardless, um, either or would, would have been two points. All right, already a disadvantage for a rare collection one. Let's roll into it. Let's do this. Okay, hopefully it's not blurry. That looks like it's fine. All right, we have the triple talent, or tactics talent, super only. We have the ghost bell secret we have the uh, ghost rich angel the harpies feather storm ultra the schism and that's only a super all right so the only card that's worth anything is this probably the triple tactics talent i wonder if this is still a two-pointer all right triple tactics wow super rare it's still $6.41. Wow, that's amazing. That is a two-pointer. Catching it up already. That's only a super. It's only a super. All right. Very collection two. All right, here we go. We have the Soul and Luna. Super only. And the uh, Exo Sisters Magnifica. Super only. The Ultra of the... Uh, ancient and ascended. We have a uh, was a collector's rare. Now you, you could definitely see a lot more here, maybe, but you kind of see those like like sparkles around the card. Some people say it looks like dust. Some people say it looks like stars. And then of course on the edges, it has like a uh, almost like a fingerprints or triangles. But yeah, and then we have the Apollo US. Ultra. That actually might work some points. We have the Skull Drain Ultra. Ooh! <laughs> we got a quarter century rare. Yeah, it is. Of the Ghost Org. Did I get this one already? I, I'm not sure if I got this one already. Well, you, you see the 25th anniversary emblem. Wow. Okay. That is definitely going to be the one I select. We have the Wings of the Ren Renaissance Blade and the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. So yes, quarter century, quarter century, Ghost Org and Snow Rabbit, alternative art. Now, like when I when I first opened this set, I thought there was going to be like an alternative and also a the original of this card, but they only have the alternative. The only two cards that have both the alternative and the other one is I think Snow. And that's no um, rescue cat, and I think the other one is a uh, droll and uh, droll and lock. I think is the old, other one has both. There's a, the, the one you got the IP at Mascarina. There's also the alternate, but you don't get the original on it in this set. From what I I gathered. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's talk about prices. The ghost org quarter century rare, forty two dollars and two cents. Wow. That is amazing. Not quite a five pointer, but still. What an amazing lead so far from Mary Collection 2. I definitely think that we deserve a rematch for sure. Especially like maybe like a, a couple of weeks later, maybe. So yeah, we'll see. We have the Dimension Shifter. We have the number 100. We have... Uh, I believe this is the alternative. I can't remember which one is which, but the Golden Lord. Ooh, we have the ultimate rare of the Tribe Gate Revolt, but I don't think that's worth any points. The Artifact Lancia. Wow, these are actually really bad. Um, I believe the only one that's worth anything, maybe, maybe is the ultimate rare, because I don't think any of these are going to be points worthy, unfortunately. 
We're, we're gonna go with the tribe gate here. This might be a clean sweep potentially. Ultimate rare. <laughs> that is only 48 cents. Wow. No points. Was there any points in this? I, I don't think so. Wow. Another no pointer for Rarity Collection 2. Not a good start. Not a good start. So the score right now, I believe it's six to two. Six to two, Rare Collection 2 taking the lead. But I think the only reason why it's leading right now is because it just came out, like I said, two weeks ago. So it, it definitely has that points advantage. And also the, the, the chances of getting like higher rarities as well. Preparation of rights, the bingo machine go. The Solemn Judgment Ultra. I think that's worth points. We have the Fantastica Dragon Fan, uh, Fantasma. Fantasma. The Palmization. The Psychic Psych uh, Cosmic Cyclone. And another quarter century rare. <laughs> uh, but what did I tell you guys? It's so easy to get quarter century rares from this set compared to like the first one. The only thing that Rare Collection has one right now that's a, like an advantage is that Ash Blossom, which I still have yet to pull. Like if that if I pull that card, then of course, you know, in the final card right there is, um, you know, obviously that will, that will, you know, secure the lead for Rare Collection 1. But wow, another quarter century, the bingo. This card, quarter century rare. Wow, that is actually low as hell. That is, that's, I mean, it's really, it's still points worthy at seven dollars and 29 cents but wow that's not a lot of points that's not a lot of points for this card so but of course compared to the other ones it's probably the most points unless the solemn judgment is higher but a crazy lead so far eight to two all right and that's kind of like what i was kind of predicting before as well in the in the previous uh video uh, when i actually opened up the very collection one is the fact that these actually might be worth, you know, it might, it might just be a clean sweep for Barry Collection 2. But we'll see. At the, the Mech Code Talker Heat Soul, the uh, Irish Sword Soul, the Reasoning, uh, which uh, if you remember from our previous video, using this card, it was not points worthy. The Reasoning, Ultimate Rare, and the Call by the Grave. Wow, that's also pretty bad too. So the only one that I think may have points is the Irish Soul because I know that reasoning is not going to have any points. Ultra rare. Wow. <laughs> it's only 14 cents. Wow. Just for just for a laugh, so just where's the reasoning at now? Probably not that high either. Reasoning, ultimate rare, 69 cents. So yeah, that, that wouldn't help at all. It would not have helped at all. Back to rarity too. Clean sweep. But it at least gets me the advantage of you know opening up more of these packs because I'm like I'm still not completed I still haven't completed any of my collection for Rarity One or Rarity Two. Um, definitely a lot more on Rarity One than that, different Rarity Two, but not enough to uh, complete it. Exo Sisters, and then we have an Ultimate Rare, very nice Ultimate Rare of the Striking Dragon, the Purely Pretty Memory Ultra. The Droll and Lockbird Ultra Rare, that actually might be worth points. Ooh, we have the Assess Talker uh, Collector's Rare. That might be worth some points. And then we have the Blue, uh, Red Eyes, Blue, <laughs> I can't even tell. Red Eyes, the Blue Eyes. It's the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, Secret Rare, and another Quarter Century Rare? What? Back to back to back? Oh my God, I must have like really shuffled really well. Damn! I don't think it's worth th that much points though, but we'll see. The anti spell fragrance and the magician's soul uh, super. All right, um, I'm I'm debating with, because these are this is actually these three are actually really good. Uh, well, I know I know two are really good, um, but which is going to be worth more points? Because even though like it's a is a, a crazy lead. Like, you know, it isn't, like, I still want to make it like, you know, fair to like, pick the ones that, that would make the most points. Um, the, uh, what's called subjective? Or, is it what I'm looking for? Like, partial, I guess? Um, but yeah. 
Um, I'm just gonna go with the quarter century rare. Anti quarter century. This one is six dollars and forty cents. All right. So just for laughs, I want to see what this, these other two are worth. Assess talker collectors rare, four dollars and sixty eight cents. So I chose the right one there. And the drill, the drill and lockbird, ultra rare only. Uh, is this the alternative? So this is not the alternative art. A dollar four cents. Okay, so I chose the right one. I chose the, the best one possible. And even this old, the, this older alternate rare of the striking dragon was uh, two dollars and thirty seven cents. So I chose the right one with the anti spell quarter century. But you would hope, you would hope, right? The quarter century rare is going to be the highest. And wow, ten to two. 10 to 2. All right, we still got a lot more packs to go. All right, Egyptian God Slime Super. Uh, Summit Limit Secret. Ancient Fairy Dragon Ultra. Ooh, Pot of Scravagans. I don't, I don't think this is the, the one I'm looking for there. I think it was the other pot I need. Ultra Rare. The Ve uh, Vision Hero Ferris. Wow. I'm just pulling terrible cards from this. Well, so I can't wait for the can't wait for the rematch because I feel like Rarity Collection 1 is going to come back with a vengeance. All right, let's go with the pot here, ultra rare. I think it's Prosperity is the one I want, not Extravagance. Yeah, it was Prosperity. But I think that's the only one that's really worth me points. <laughs> 31 cents. God damn it, 31 cents only. So no points, but I don't think any of these were worth any points. Yeah, I don't think so. Let me know in the comments. All right. Back to the domination of Rare Collection 2. So the only advantage really I would say about Rare Collection 2 is, is it, like it came out two weeks ago and it has the uh, the relevancy factor. Even though the points itself, like the highest card, highest price card is not the highest, there's a, a lot a, a lot of cards that haven't reached the majority of people. So the ban is still pretty high for most of the higher rarities. The cross out, the Book of Moon, the Ultra of the Trish, Trish, Trishula. Ooh, we have a, what is this? Uh, oh no, so it's only an Ultra. I thought it was a uh, Ultimate. So Ultra Rare, the Assessed Code Talker. See another shininess there. <laughs> what the hell is that? Trap Tricks, uh, Ultra only. The Fantastic Dragon, Secret. And it is only a, pl uh, uh, what is called a Platinum Secret Rare. But it looks pretty though. I'm kind of like uh, getting used to it. I'm not, it's still not my favorite, but it's better than uh, the previous year or the previous uh, set. Oh. So number 38, and then the IP Mascarina uh, Super Only. So I'm gonna go with this one and uh, see what happens. Like I'm not, it kind of looks good with around the black though. What do you guys think? Hopefully it's uh, not too blurry. Number 38, Platinum Secret. All right, this is two dollars and seven cents. So that is uh, one point. Wow, eleven to two. Domination, domination. There we go. We got the Alpha, the Master of Beasts. Ooh, <laughs> quarter century rare, finally, of the Pot of Desires. But I don't think this one is really, really high. But it's probably points worthy. We have the Spell Book of Judgment, the Change of Heart Ultra Rare, and the Magician's Salvation Super Rare. So yes, our first quarter century rare from Rare Collection 1, Pot of Desires. We wanted Prosperity, not the, not Desires, but I think it's still going to be worth some points. I mean it better because uh, they need it. They need it bad. Desires. At least I'll add to my collection as well. Quarter century rare, here we go. $17.96, so that is three points, three points. If it had broke tw uh, uh, $20, that would be four points, but it's only a three-pointer. That will, that will at least uh, give it some breathing room. Not enough though, not enough, for sure. Still way behind, unless somehow we have back-to-back -back duds with Rare Collection 2, which I really, really doubt right now. Uh, we'll give it some time. We'll get some time. All right, we have the Ghost Moaner. We have the Go Sarcophagus Super. Mystical Space Typhoon Ultra. 
and we have the ultimate rare of the uh, anti-spell fragrance. Looks like another ultimate rare of the Guardian Chimera, the Rescue Cat alternative. Ooh, secret rare of the uh, Magician's Soul, and another secret of the uh, Abomination Prison, and the Book of Eclipse Super. All right, um, I'm going to go with the anti-spell fragrance. Um, ultimate rare. Ultimate rare, still points worthy at $2.00. And 15 cents, so that is uh, one point. Out of curiosity, how much was this other ultimate rare? Okay, choose the right one. That's about the same, okay, sorry. Uh, still still one pointer, $2.32 for this. Actually, about the same as well, $2.25, so another one pointer. So no matter which one I chose, it would have been a one pointer. So that's what I'm saying though, Rare Collection 2 has a lot of cards that are worth points. That the stick advantage of of coming out sooner, soonest. Uh, Artemis, super. Uh, we have the Lone Fire Blossom secret, the Decode Talker Ultra, uh, Collector's Rare of the Elder, um, whatever, <laughs> Eternal <laughs> Entity, Dogmatica Punishment Super. Wow, some terrible cards right now for Rare Collection. All right, going with the collector's rare here of Elder. All right, at least it's points worthy at $1.15. So that is a one point. And I forgot if I gave a uh, rare collection to a point already. I think I lost my tally. I lost my tally, guys. For some reason, my, my, my points did not count. So hopefully this is the correct tally. <laughs> I hope. If not, um, my editor's got my back, but that is only a one pointer. So the score is now 12 to seven. Is that right? If, it's, if it is, great. If not, just bleep me out, I guess. <laughs> I try to go back and recount them, but still kind of close-ish, close-ish. All right, so we're going with the uh, quarter set. This is, a, we're, uh, we're down to our uh, last two packs. Well, we'll tend to get last pack after this one. All right, here we go. We got the, my friend Pearly. The enemy controller. This is only going to be a super. With the Ghost Org Ultra. The Phantom Knight of Break Sword Ultra. Forbidden Lance Ultra. Another Ultra with the number 38. A Secret of the Ancient and Ascended. Secret of the Twin Twister. And then Super. It's actually a dud of a set or a pack, but I think some of these are actually with points. I have to pick the right one. So that's a super for the last card there. Um, crap. I'm not sure which one is the best. I want to say this one's probably the best right here. The Ghost Org Ultra. So I'm going to choose this one. Wow, okay. Um, a lot less than I thought. So I chose the wrong one here. This one's only 45 cents, so that is no points. But I don't think Rarity Collection 2 really needs more points because we're down to a final final pack. So if you guys want this set to win, press a like. Good luck. And hopefully my point system is right because uh, let me see here. 7 to 12 is what I, I, I have annotated. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So basically it needs the Ash Blossom for a 6 pointer to win uh, or a 5 pointer to, to tie it up like the infinite or probably triple tactics maybe I, I, I like the triple tactics uh because i haven't pulled that one yet so we'll see if i get that one we have the uh, nibiru 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 uh the platinum secret this, this is the old platinum secrets which i i really don't like too much you can tell because the the, the words here are like kind of almost scattered uh and this is of course going to be hollowed around the borders and uh, this one of course is highlighted in the borders as well it's very subtle it's a lot more subtle than the other one Pot of Prosperity Ultra. And we do have a Dimensional Barrier Ultimate. And then a Super here. Wow. So the only one that's probably worth points is this one right here. Nibiru. Let's see. Probably not enough points to tie it up though. I really doubt it. Platinum Secret Rare. Still points worthy. $3.97. But that is only one point. The Dimensional Barry have any points? I don't think I had points even for an ultimate. Barrier, ultimate, $2.60. Yeah, so it still would have been only one point. Wow. 
So that is pretty much an automatic win going into the final pack of Rarity Collection 2. Did it win because it had more cards? I mean, it did say that there's a higher chance for rarities in Rarity Collection 2. It has that as an advantage. It also has the advantage of being recent as well. So there's demand and hype for it. So there's a lot of advantages just, you know, going in, into these without any handicaps. But yeah, Charge of the Light Brigade. Ooh, IP Mascarina Ultra, alternative art. And then we do get a, what is it called? A Collector's Rare of the Garuva. The Ultimate Slayer Ultra. Uh, Ultra of the pr uh, Pressured Planet. A Secret Rare of the Rescue Cat Alternative. Another Secret of the Palmization. And a Super of the Book of Eclipse. So we're definitely going with the IP Mascarina Ultra Rare. The meta cards, as they say. All right, Alternative. Ultra rare. Wow. Okay. That's su very surprising. Only 89 cents. So that is no points. Wow. Wow. W were any of these points worthy? Probably the uh, platinum secret then. So let's check out how many points I would have got from this. But again, it didn't really need it. I had automatic win, but I just chose the wrong card. Platinum secret. Yeah, $4.73. So. Yeah, four dollars. This would have won. This would have been, got me an, an extra point, but again, not needed. It automatically won. But yeah, guys, wow, what a set! Hopefully, you guys liked that. Now we definitely, definitely deserve a rematch. If you guys want to see that rematch, because we only pulled one Clippers rare from here, and I think we pulled two, maybe three from this set. So we still got probably two more Clippers rares in here, and two more here. So this will be a. Uh, Pretty evened out, I would imagine, versus rematch. I might even say the rest of this pack versus the rest of this pack, even though there's more in here. Maybe. We'll, we'll check out the prices in the future. And uh, I'm not sure when I'll be doing that versus for Rare Collection 1 versus Rare Collection 2 versus. Maybe, maybe, maybe like end of year. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Maybe like an end of year special. Um, I'll try to include this one. I don't know. I don't know. You, you guys, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe involving some Pokemon sets. I don't know. But I love your suggestions every single time, and I'll definitely see you there. My name is Talos. This was the Versus of Rarity Collection 12th Anniversary. I'll see you next time. Peace.